I'm Chris McNamara for Outdoor Gear Lab. We're checking out what to consider when buying a sun hat. How do you choose a sun hat? So the first thing to look at is what type of brim style. What I'm wearing here is the REI Paddler hat. It's the traditional sun hat design. It's, it's gonna be the best looking. It's not generally gonna give the best protection just because uh, as the sun angle changes, as it's lower in the sky, it's not necessarily gonna protect your neck um, unless you get a giant brim. So if, if you really want the best neck prote protection, we recommend a hat that has either kind of a, uh, a half cape, like this is the Sunday Afternoon Adventurer, or the Outdoor Research Sunrunner has a full cape. Next thing to look at is a UPF factor. This is like the SPF factor that you see on sunscreen, but it's the clothing equivalent. And um, generally, uh, the highest that they rate things is 50 plus. So all the sun hats we tested were in the 30 to 50 plus range. If you want the absolute highest rating, definitely go to our review at OutdoorGearLab.com. We put all the different UPF ratings side by side. Next is ventilation. Most of the hats have some type of ventilation on the sides, but how they ventilate will depend on what that material is, how uh, spaced out those holes are, and this is where a cape actually can come and work against you a little. For example, the cape on the Sunrunner, it comes down so hard that if you don't keep it off your neck, it can actually start kind of heating, heating your neck up. We looked at durability. Uh, we crunched them up and put them in a uh, tiny Ziploc bag all at the same time um, and pulled them out and looked at how durable their brims were. If you're going to be really crushing these, throwing them in backpacks, that's a very important feature to look at. If you're someone who you know, babies the hat, that's less important. And lastly, uh, style. We gave this the lowest rating in our tests because it's such a subjective thing, but we also recognize that style can be the difference between wearing that hat or not. So um, we generally found this style of hat, the kind of more traditional one, the better looking one, but it's all subjective. Please check out our full buying advice article at OutdoorGearLab.com. You can also check out our Editor's Choice Best in Class article where we put them all side by side at OutdoorGearLab.com. Please let us know what you think.